We do have some eco data crossing right now. Here is what we know. If you take a look at uh, PPI, so producer price index, if you back out food, you back out energy a year on year, coming in at 2.3%, so lower sequentially and also lower than estimates. Uh, also on a month-on-month -month basis, if you strip out food, you strip out energy up two-tenths of one percent. Final demand also a little bit lighter month-on-month, -month, coming up just one-tenth uh, of one percent. David, this feels like the story we've been hearing in the inflation world. Yeah. Like, it's here. Yeah, but it's 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 not where dramatic, is it? but it's, it's here a little bit. backing off just a little bit. Certainly, it doesn't look like it puts a lot of pressure on the Fed. It's not saying there's no alarm bell going off here. They've got inflation coming down the pike. Right, and I wonder what this also winds up meaning for CPI, because if uh, PPI comes yep. in uh, tomorrow, sequentially right? lower, then you don't necessarily have that pressure to pass it on uh, on the consumer level as well, which there is yeah. debate of whether or not the consumers could handle that level. But, so, as I say, not dramatic, but backing off just a little bit from the inflation yeah. story. It doesn't really seem to change anything uh, yet in the market. You still have the dollar index rolling over, and you still have uh, yields moving higher as a sell-off pretty much hits all areas of the bond market. Oksana Aronoff of J.P. Morgan Asset Management is still with us. Oksana, where do we stand on inflation? Here's the issue with inflation, and you've just sort of illuminated it with your comments, which is that it's been almost entirely priced out as a risk, which makes it a risk by sheer, you know, by, by that very um, sort of uh, way of thinking. And look, these numbers show us that inflation generally uh, will continue to move along the same trajectory, meaning, you know, constructive trajectory. And the danger is that any reading in the future that we get that may slightly exceed expectations, you know, by the same tiny margin that perhaps it fell below this morning, will spur those expectations. And the Fed so far, you know, may not feel pressured by these numbers, but the Fed will continue to do what they're doing. And they're telegraphing three more hikes this year, and the markets are not black. Okay, I, 